everybody, this is Tracy. I'm here for the So and Tell version of So Fun today. Uh, Lynn couldn't be here, so I'm kind of taking her spot. So we have all these beautiful designs or projects everybody from a couple of the stores have made. So we want to show you what we've been working on. So the first pro set of projects we have for you this month is from the OESD Birthday Wishes disc. You get this if, if you're part of OESD Super Spree Club, or you can just come in and buy the disc individually at each of our stores. So we have four different samples for you. On this disc, there are five or six different birthday designs. Um, and then it has the numbers one through 10. So you can take pictures of the kid as they get to um, different ages and whatever. So the one that everybody seemed to love the best at the stores is this happy birthday design comes in different sizes um, so we did it Jamie in the Aurora store did it first on one of our embroidery buddies if you aren't familiar with these guys they are adorable little stuffed animals that are so super soft and what's great is their little behind unzips you take out their stuffing inside it'll lay flat you can embroider on their tummy and then you put the stuffing back in and you have a great little animal. There's probably about 30, 40 different animals. There's three or four different dinosaurs, um, bears, dogs, every little animal you can imagine. But he looks just cute with a little happy birthday on his tummy. And then the hip hip hooray, it's my birthday. Becky did this from the Littleton store for her little grandson who's about to turn one. And Lynn made this one. It's a Kimberbell kids apron that she just put the embroidery design on. It'd be great if you decorated it with some of these Kimberbell ribbons across the bottom and add a little splash of color on it, but just a really cute little project here. And then we also have Terry in Littleton made this. It's a little placemat, again with a happy birthday candles on it. And then on this side, she did with her Floriani um, software. She just took a clip art of a cupcake and digitized it out, used a triple bean stitch for it, and did the quilting with the cupcake all through her software. So four different ways you can do this great little OESD happy birthday wishes disc. So this next bunch of embroidery designs are from Anita Good Design all access kitchen bag dispensers. So if you get all access, you will have this in your packet. If you don't have all access, you can stop by the store and pick up a pack, uh, the embroidery disc, which I don't have one here with me, but it's gonna look like this here. Um, and it has different designs on it. So I'm not sure who's really into making, you know, plastic bag holders, but they are great on these things. So Terry made this one. The kitchen was clean yesterday. Sorry, you missed it. She took a painter's canvas, took it off of the wooden pieces, did the embroidery, and then stapled it back onto her wood, wooden pieces. So really cute little design. This one is from Tiffany. Don't go baking my heart. How cute is that? Um, this one is from Emily. Sometimes I open my mouth and my mother comes out. We can all relate to that one. She did for this nice little gold flex on the side. She used some of this embroidery leather from Kimberbell. And then Emily also made this kitchen. Kitchens were made to bring families together. And I love this design. Um, this is part of a towel that she used. Actually, no, it's not. She used fabric for this. Um, this is one of the towels we sell at the store. And this is one of the Kimberbell dots and stripes towels that she used for this one. So all this stuff is available at our store and some really cute little sayings for your Christmas or your kitchen, your kitchen. So this next project, group of projects, is from the OESD Lots of Luck disc. It has 15 designs on it that are all very St. Patrick's Day, Irishy sort of things. Um, they require a five by seven hoop or bigger. So just keep that in mind if you have a smaller four by four hoop. The first project we have here is an apron that Becky from the Littleton store did. It says, I'll be Irish in a few more beers. She made the apron with a towel, and then she added another towel here for the pockets with the little um, shamrocks on the bottom of it. So really cute, fast little project and great way to showcase some designs. 
And then Jamie in the Aurora store did this cute little guy. It's Kiss Me, I'm Irish. It's a little onesie from Kimberbell. What's great with this is sometimes some of you, it's really hard to hoop a baby onesie because you have to kind of fold it inside out and hold it the whole time and make sure that nothing sews up on top of itself. What's great with these Kimberbell onesies is they come unsewn on the sides. So you can slide your hoop in there, sew it up, sew up the side, and then you're all done. And no aerobic embroidery required, but just a cute little project for a baby. These next projects are from OESD and they are gnomes. I'm not quite sure what the disc is because we don't have it here, but it'll look like this when you see it in the store. It will also be in your OESD Super Spree packet if you're a member for that. So this first one Becky made, it is just an adorable little gnome beekeeper. Um, she used the Kimberbell embroidery leather for his wings. Um, and then she did this cute little border across the bottom of the towel also with the little bees and flowers on it. And this is just one of the blank um, done open towels that we have at the store. This other project is from Amber in Aurora, and it is a little gnome bee that's dropping like honey in a little flower pot. Um, really cute little thing. It's made on the OESD garden flag, pre-made blanks. So what's great is you do the embroidery on here. You can do something on the front and the back. You sew the sides down, and then you have a garden flag that doesn't have the embroidery on the back side. So a great little embroidery blank that you can do some adorable spring designs on. So this next, next group of projects was made by Kathy LSS, our blogger, and then she also does so fun for us. Um, it's called Confetti Bags, Party in a Pouch. So it's from Anita Good Design. You would get it in all access. If you don't have all access, you can just stop by and pick up the designs in the store. So the first one we have says Born to Sparkle. And what's great is they're made with vi plastic vinyl and you put confetti inside so it just sparkles. The next one is Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes and she put little seashells and things in it. And then we have a little um, one with hearts. This is Kimberbell glitter applique stuff. Um, and just a cute little pouch, totally made in the hoop, zipper and everything, all one step in the hoop. So this next project is Paper Pieced Mermaids by Anita Good Design. So you'll either get it in all access or you can stop by the stores and pick up the disc if you just want that. There are 15 mermaids that are paper pieced in the hoop. Emily made this towel with a Kimberbell, a Kimberbell towel. Um, she used the Kimberbell embroidery leather on it. Um, so you paper piece the tail and then her hair and all this stuff is all embroidery. So really gorgeous design. The detail on it is amazing and cute little towel for your kitchen. So this next project Lynn made, it's um, Tiny Treasures 2 by Scissors Tail Stitches, which is part of OESD. It has 20 different designs on it little tiny ones that just are great for little items to decorate anything with. So Lynn used this Kimberbell Blanks tote bag. She did, she used the projector and her tin needle to line up all these little designs and all these little squares. And then she took some of this Kimberbell ribbon that comes in all these coordinated packets, put it down the side and took some of the Kimberbell buttons and put them on her, her bag with it. What's great with these bags is they come unsewn on the sides. They're totally flat. You just do your embroidery on a flat machine and then you stitch up the sides and it's all made up for you. This is a Kimberbell project Becky made from the Littleton store. It's called Buttons Always in Season. So we have a sample of the spring and winter. So we have button packs that will go with each one, but just cute little sayings all over the little hangings all about spring things, flowers, bees, all that kind of thing. The winter, hot chocolate, snowflakes, snowman, burr, just cute little decorations for every season and that you embellish with buttons. This next projects are made by 
this one's made by Emily. This one's made by Hannah in the Littleton store. Um, it's an, an Anita Good Design project. It's called Cozy Applique Quilt. It'd be great to use wool, um, wool in it, but the girls both did it with just cotton. So a nice little bee as a hot pad and the nice little bag with a hand on it. And it's all appliqued in the hoop. This next design is called Women in Uniform by Anita Good Design. There are 18 designs that come in five sizes, starting with a six by 10 hoop or bigger. And this is a bag that somebody made, a nurse. We need our nurses right now. Um, part of it is applique, I think her shirt is applique, and then the rest of it is embroidered on. This next design is Spring is in the Air by OESD. There are 15 designs on here, each of them requiring a six by 10 hoop or bigger. The first project we have is by Terry. She made a cute little mask that has pansies on one side and some nice little butterflies on both sides. Then we have a very cute blue and yellow Christmas or kitchen towel with birdhouses on it. Blue and yellow would match my kitchen. Whoever made this, it'll go in my kitchen. And then Lynn did this great pillow, um, lots of spring colors. All of the fabric is from our Littleton store um, and the pansies, the same design that Terry did on her mask. Thanks for watching. Um, please make sure you stop by any of the four stores get your free gift, see all of our samples, look at it, touch everything, see what we're doing, um, and make sure you purchase everything. We'll have them all at the stores for you, and we will see you tomorrow for whoever else is doing the rest of SoFun. Thanks.